hi friends today I'm going to show you how to test electronic components like transistors and MOSFETs with the use of ZIF or zero insertion force sockets with the use of a simple homemade electronic device or component tester these are ZIF sockets zero insertion force sockets with different pin numbers you can see here a small one big one with different socket sockets number of sockets or pins here I have soldered wires like this to the behind this zip socket so we can easily hook up this to the component tester so that without any difficulty with ease we can test the transistors for the polarity and uh, for the PNP and NPN type of the transistor and different type for N channel and P channel MOSFETs watch this now I have connected the, the three wires to the three terminals and placing a transistor. Just place inside the slot, you can see the slot and placing it. And just locking it the lever locking the lever let me turn the turn turn it on it shows NPN the HFE and the luck configuration BEC TO92 style case transistor testing another type of transistor locking the slot So if it's a little bit high compared to the previous transistor. It's a fit near to 370. Checking a very old type of a transistor. TO39 case style, style case. You can see long legs here. It's gold plated long legs. Very old tape. I think it's an audio frequency transistor used many many years. Echo. Let's let this put inside this zip socket. Pinsa very long and rigid due to be the strainful process okay I managed to place it locking let me turn it on the component tester just probing you can see it's a BEC HF is very low 30 NPN type very low HFE, it shows very low HFE value, beta
nowadays different types of binding post are available here I have used this threading type of binding post there are different type this is another type here you can see a soldering tack behind this binding post this is 10 ampere binding post this one is 15 ampere I have used all this 15 ampere here so I can easily connect the wire into this slot you can see a slot if you closely watch here you can see see a slot here so we can adapt this wire end of this wire we strip the wire into this and we can lock it by turning simply turning it so we can easily connect the zip socket which I have mentioned earlier so we can test all kind of semiconductor devices like transistors PNP and PM and N channel P channel MOSFETs with with ease very easily we can connect I can also use the, these kinds of banana connectors with this type of binding post or battery terminals the male connector easily adapt to the slots watch this and I can connect all the components here now I am going to hook up a transistor with the two terminals, three ter terminals. Be careful, don't short the legs. Keep a decent distance. I will turn it on. Watch this. It's probing. Oh, it shows a BJT PNP. HFE and base emitter voltage, forward voltage drop, it shows everything and the terminal 1, 2, 3, EBC for the PNP. I think the transistor is BC557. Checking a MOSFET. P channel MOSFET. 